Hello everyone and welcome back to Hot Ticket. I'm Kevin Hornsby for Cox 11. This time of year is always a great time for fun events and Seven Venues is here to tell us all about the things they have coming up. Mari Hodges joins us. Thank you for being with us again. Thanks for having me, Kevin. Great to see you. You have Broadway Norfolk and some other events we're going to talk about, but the first thing you have coming up is a returning favorite, Kinky Boots. Tell Kinky me about Boots, it. Kinky Boots, yes. So we are so excited to have this show. It's in um, December. It's written by Cindy Lauper. Uh, she did wildly successful um, mm -hmm. with this on Broadway. So it's the story of a guy who takes over his father's shoe factory. He's down on his luck. He goes out drinking. He meets a performer who needs some sturdy, tall, <laughs> kinky boots. And so they collaborate. And it's just a story of working with people who might not necessarily live and thrive in your wheelhouse and how they come together. And it saves the business. And it's actually based on some um, true, uh, loosely on a true story. Yeah. So really fun, fun show. Broadway Norfolk has been just a staple every year, bringing a good variety in. What do you have next? So after that, we move into the classic Cinderella in February, which is going to be beautiful. That production uh, is so well done. There was a lot of money put into sets, costumes, and then, of course, the talent is Broadway caliber. Yeah. So a must-see for you know families. It's not for little children only. It's for the whole family as well. Another favorite. So exactly. And then we move that. into Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. Everybody loves Joseph. Yeah and um, his 11 brothers, so it's the biblical tale. That show is known for its singing and all mm -hmm. the music. The music is very famous, so again, great family show. And then we round out the season um, again with Flashdance, which is based on the movie. Yes. So they decided to turn it into a tour and take it out um, and tour it. So it's a story of she's a welder in the day and a mm -hmm. dancer at night, falls in love with her boss and doesn't know you know which direction to follow. And some so tremendous it's about dancing, I imagine, in that one. Great. And then you know Maniac, Gloria, all yeah, those yeah, songs that hits. we love. So that'll be really fun. That's a great date night, girls' night out type mm -hmm. show. So. And how has how's Broadway Norfolk grown over the years? The quality of shows that we get to get a show like Kinky Boots into town, and then last year we had um, Book of Mormon and Wicked, to get that caliber of talent is mm -hmm. such uh, such a treat because that means the Hampton Road citizens don't have to drive up to New York yeah. and spend all this money. These shows are coming to you. So to, ha to have that and be able to host it is such a privilege. I was there for Wicked, and I'm still amazed. My daughter and I still talk about it. Oh, that's great. In addition to Broadway Norfolk, we've got some other fun events. Yes, so after, if Broadway's not your cup of tea, don't worry. So we have a really cool show coming called Star Trek. Um, mm -hmm. It's the tribute, it's a 50th anniversary tribute to Star Trek. They turn 50, the um, whole brand, yes. uh, franchise, next year. So they are going to bring a giant screen, which will show uh, footage from the TV shows, the movies, while a live orchestra plays, and they'll have a narrator. They haven't landed on it yet, but it's going to be somebody from one of the Star Trek oh, um, shows. So it's going to be a really cool. Really so the cool Trekkies show. are going to be targeting that date for big sure. Big time, big time, and it's great for kids, families, science fiction fans, and it's um, a high caliber, very um, elaborate, elegant show. So really, really unique. Thing Sounds like it. So for music fans, we have some offerings for them as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you're not a Broadway, you're not a Trekkie, we have something called Widespread Panic coming. Ooh, yeah. So they're going on 30 years. Um, mm -hmm. Great, great band. A lot of um, people compare them to like Fish and you know those really well-known jam bands. Yeah. So we have that coming. We're thrilled to have them. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, that show. And then Jim Brinkman. And then Jim Brinkman. He's been very popular for quite a while now. He is the um, this age's best-selling solo pianist. Mm -hmm. So he knows how to put mood with music. It's on Valentine's Day, so it's a great, perfect date night. Yeah. This show is very um, moving, very romantic, and it's he's so talented. So it'll be full of surprises and a great, great um, Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, and. All of these things are at such a tremendous venue. Tell us about, for those that haven't been there, Chrysler Hall. So Chrysler Hall, we have three floors that holds 2,500 people. We have a private lounge that we sell tickets to um, if you want drinks and cocktails and snacks before a show. Yeah. In downtown Norfolk, it's connected to Scope Arena. So it's our, our baby. We love that building. We put uh, comedians through there, concerts, symphonies, Broadway shows. So it's a building that never quits. Giving. We have just a moment <laughs> left. Where can they go to find out all the information? Sevenvenues.com. The seven is spelled out. We have all our Broadway show information, our hockey season's up there, everything you need to know um, along with ticketing links. 
All right, Mari Hodges, thank you so much for being here and sharing this great information. I can't believe our time's gone. Yeah. But we want to encourage you, check out that website, get all those dates down, and bring the family out to some great, fun, and diverse events. For Cox 11, I'm Kevin Hornsby.